It was bowling day at last as kids both small and big left the hotel in Halifax, Nova Scotia to get ready for 13 strings of bowling at the Atlantic Coast Invitational. As we got on the bus, we watched as tired faces turned into smiling ones, and we heard some words of wisdom from coaches, kids, and of course spectators like Dan Josefiak. No bowlers left behind! <laughs> Expectations. First place for teams because we got the bomb five man squad. And then the rest will just hope to bowl well, possibly one pin average. I want you to share your experience about the fun you had before you talk about any scores. Fun was the mission and it was accomplished, starting at Woodside Bowlerama where the little kids were ready to go. Are we ready? Yeah. Tell me what we got. How are we doing? Well, there we go. I want to have fun and bowl good. I think it's going to be kind of fun because some of them, well most of them are like hoop balls and they want to have fun, not just win the tournament, but they want to have fun doing it. I feel that basically we're going to throw some good balls and do what we need to do. The Star Spangled Banner in O Canada concluded and we were underway as the first balls were thrown. Kids seemed to be enjoying themselves when the pins fell and when they did. And as kids got into a groove on the lanes, we saw a few friendly rivalries develop. Yeah, that's like, it's a different country and you don't like, get used to it. Dad, I wish I could stay here. Well, I'm surrounded by at all these bowling alleys. Bowling's my favorite sport. It's fun. It's just, it's, it's just more fun bowling in Canada. In the Gutter is brought to you by Oddball Sporting Goods, your premier online source for candle pin and duck pin bowling equipment. Novelty balls and bags, the stuff the pros use. Oddball's got you covered. That's oddballsportinggoods.com. And tell them Shoe sent you. Welcome back to Candlepin for Kids. The crowd is energized. I'm energized. Dan, you've got the runners up. Thanks, Rob. This is crazy. Powers Richard. Uh, that was one of the most exciting and close matches we've had in probably two years here for championships. Uh, is it a whole different sensation bowling in such a close, uh, tight match like that? It puts a lot of pressure on you because you always want to be the one with the one pin ahead. <laughs> you definitely do want to be the one ahead like that. Uh, you didn't throw your 120 like you always did, but you finished incredibly strong. You make any adjustments in the second half? No. No, it's just just trying the same thing every box. It just worked out for you, though. The ball the same every box. Yeah, yeah. Are you happy with your overall finish today? Yeah. Anything you'd like to do different, or you think this is a really good effort and everything went right? Everything went right. That is good. You did bowl awesome today. Uh, any plans for the twenty-five dollars that you got, you know, as bonus money today? Go get lunch. <laughs> it's about what it can. Here, here. You have enough probably for two lunches if we go to McDonald's. Me and you. What do you say? No. All right. Powers, uh, is that the closest and tightest high pressure match you've been involved in in a long time? Uh, yeah. Maybe ever? No. What do you think was a tighter or closer or more pressure match? Uh, last year with me and Colleen in the championship show versus, uh, I forget who. And that did that probably prepare you and help you at all in any way today? Yeah, somewhat. You are a heck of a single pinner, Steve. Is that something that you feel like uh, is one of the strongest parts of your game? Yeah. Do you work on it? Sometimes, yeah. And uh, we've talked before, I asked you this question, let me ask you for the ones on TV. You had like 220, 225, 226, 227. What's your high triple you've ever hit for three? 357. So you were within range of it. You think you would have hit it if you had one more game to throw? Maybe. Are these guys lucky you guys didn't have one last string to come back and pass them? I don't know. <laughs> they are pretty good. But you enjoyed your time with us, right, both of you? Yeah. Any congratulations or words you might want to say to the chance before we turn it over to Rob? Just heck of a game. Yeah, what is that? Heck of a game, they earned it. Yeah, they did earn it. That's all I can say. I'd like to congratulate the champs myself, but Rob, you can interview them. I'll stand back here with the trophies. Sounds good. I'm here with our champions, Maddie Kelly and Aaron Souza. Phenomenal performance from you guys. Maddie, we'll start with you. Your game is, you're having a pretty good month so far. Take us through it. Well, I bowled my highest ever bowled in Canada, my 1561. And then coming back here, I tried to bowl the best I could, and like they showed, every pin counts. Where does this rank compared to Canada? Which one was more high pressure? Which one are you more proud of? I think Canada was more high pressure. I had so many people behind me just watching every single ball I threw. So. Do you think that helped prepare you for this one? The crowd I is pretty so. loud out there. I think so, yeah. Maybe not as loud as the Canadians though? Mm -hmm. Never. Never as loud as the Canadians. 
Well, congratulations. You bowled awesome. Aaron, you as well. Going into a match, one pin difference. What were you thinking? I gotta get marks. I gotta get marks. <laughs> you got them. You got the first one. You snuck that one out. Take us through your, what you were thinking that box when you had the 110 and you found that piece of wood. I, I didn't want to hit that pot. I wanted to hit high, not the cap. Took it. And you gotta be happy with that. You had a uh, pretty vocal fan section there. What do you think of them? They're, they're great. Did it, did it help you out up there? Yeah. Well, we're really impressed with both of your performances this, this afternoon. Uh, 227, you guys threw 246 in your first match. You guys work pretty well together. Do you think you bring the best out of each other? Probably, yeah. We both bowl very good together. Yeah. We were impressed. Uh, you guys bowled great. Congratulations. You're both going home with $50 gift cards and a pair of trophies. Trophies. Heavy, man. Let's hear it for our champions. Hold on. So that brings us to the end of our Division 2 championships. We still got Division 3 to go. We still got Division 3, and you know what, Rob? We've got a team tournament later that we're going to see a lot of these faces again. And, and if the competition is anywhere near what it's been the last couple of matches, I can't wait. Four fun shows down, two to go. Thank you for joining us here at Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill, Massachusetts. On behalf of the entire Candlepin for Kids staff, alongside Dan Gothier, I'm Rob Taylor. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. How are we going to do in the bowling tournament? Are we going to win? Yes. We're going to win! Did you hear it? How are we all doing, guys? All right, how are we feeling, ladies? What's happening today? What's going on? A little excitement, please. Give me some energy. I don't have, I don't have any energy. <laughs> what are we going to do today? <laughs> We're going to win! <laughs> Steven, pop, 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 pop.